Okay, tagged. What's up, y'all? This is TT. Thank you for joining me today. I'm here with the daily oracle message for us. Hope everybody been enjoying their day. I've been on tag, just running my mouth. Y'all know how I be eating. So, yeah, it's time to get the message. God, angel, spirit, gods, ascended masters, archangels, spirit animals. Thank you for the message for our highest good today. Thank you that I'm able to interpret it clearly. Hold on, girl. Get your cards out. Thank you that I can interpret it clearly. Thank you, that is the, just the message we need to hear. This one deck is war in, is war in. this mermaid deck. Cause I be going in with the mermaid deck. I, this is the favorite deck. Some of the cards kind of like bendy. Thank you, God. That means we've been getting a lot of guidance. God, angel, spirit, God, ascended masters, archangels, spirit, and thank you. This is your highest good today. Okay. This came out yesterday. This came out yesterday gentleness basically it's an extra urgency to be gentle uh, right now because um the compassion empathy uh patience gentleness that we showing with other people it is it, going to take us to the to the space in life that we want to be in because our old ways of uh, being impatient um uh, having rushing people or just not caring not showing that we're caring we, we gotta move with our heart space right now we gotta move with our heart space forever that's what we need to do we don't gotta do nothing because we got free will and we can choose whatever we want to do but the guidance is it's imperative for us to be gentle gentle with others and gentle with ourselves if you didn't get a chance today i mean yesterday go back and watch my youtube channel from um my youtube video from yesterday that's what the message was uh and you know what after that message yesterday it was like on my mind a whole lot because i think i need to uh i ain't no i think i know I need to get out and do something creative and use some creative energy because like yesterday after I got that message, I was still thinking about it and I just feel like I have energy in the inside of me that I need to release because it still feel like fuck it and not trying to be concerned what other people are on. And, and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that, but the guidance says what it says and I trust it. I trust it, and on top of that gentleness card, just other messages that I've been getting is, it's time to be of service in the world, and part of that service is just, the, the whole part of that service is having an open, balance, y'all hear my angels, maybe y'all hear singing to us while we on the live. And they be flying on the uh, edge of the window looking in here. Uh, we we can't oh, we can't enter the we won't be able to. Let me watch out. Let me say this a different way. To get access to the new levels, this door that's wide open, get full access, and have it flow 
without resistance, which is us having a blocked heart chakra or us not having an imbalanced heart chakra. To get through that, this new door that's open, that's the key, is, is using our heart, how we were placed here to use it. And that means being gentle even with people that got you fucked up. You feel me? I always encourage people to stand up for themselves and express how, how when you experience people and you have resistance, you're supposed to tell them how, how they had you fucked up. You feel me? But there's a way to go about it. Man, I know a couple people in life. One of them is a mentor. She lives in Indianapolis. When I tell you that bitch will get somebody together with her wisdom, her kindness, and her heart mixed together, and that's a powerful thing. I've been with her when she done it, and you can really feel in your heart when people was being condescending or when people was really being gentle and loving but telling you you had them fucked up. You can feel that shit. And when we use the... When we use the gentle approach, when we use our heart chakra to, 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 to stand on ourselves and be in our boundaries and use those times of resistance for teachable moments to other people because that's how people learn when they have you fucked up. You feel me? But both of us, me, them, the person, whoever I'm co-creating with, they are not going to fucking, I am not going to get the lesson if I'm not being gentle with how I respond. Because if I come with that aggressive standpoint, if I come with that bitch, I get with you, you feel me, energy, you feel me, a, a motherfucker's not going to learn. You're not going to learn how to use your heart what god sent you to be here for to the full capacity and the other person is not going to learn the lesson the life lesson that they needed right then it's just going to be fucking resistance and motherfuckers go through these through these loops like this of repeating the same shit so with this card by coming out a second time today is telling me that it's really important to do this Thank you, angels. We getting it. We getting it. We, we got to have um, good self-talk with ourselves and use affirmations and journaling. And I'm sitting here telling it to the camera like I'm consistent with it and I don't be consistent with it right now, but I'm learning to get better with it. Thank you, God. I'm not even going to read the book definition today on that one but i definitely feel know that is about being gentle using our heart with everything we experience and everybody because when we use our heart that's how we flow and that's how we be in it and in, in, in alignment and that's how my fucking shit move when your manifestations get to you faster when you ain't feeling all that discord and shit but when we are feeling that, we have to process that shit. That's why I feel like I need to do something creative. You feel me? To let, cause I got, I think I feel like I got a little, a little suppressed something. I don't even know what it is. But it's it's releasing every day. It's releasing by me sitting here talking to y'all, sharing the whole fucking uh, vibe. Thank you, God. Angel spirit, guys. Thank you, Ascended Masters. So if you watch my video this long, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. Um, because you going to want to stay in contact with me. I know because cause I'm fun. I don't just read cards. You feel me? Um, I got some um, new business. It's really my... I don't even... I keep on saying I don't like to call it business because it kind of feel funny. But it is a business. And it is where I use the gift that God gave me to take care of myself. And it ain't nothing wrong with that. So, yes, this is my business, my practice. 
and it's gonna be really fun and it's gonna be healing and it's gonna teach you new ways to let all those feelings out because they feel so better out than stuck in i promise you that thank you okay i think i'm supposed to stop shuffling now thank you angel The more I honor my inner light, the more I brighten the world I choose to shine. So our inner light, we activate that with our heart. The heart chakra is the center. I think that's the most powerful chakra. I know that's the most powerful chakra. We have the most energy. That's our light. That's where our, our light is. That's the shine, you feel me? And the way we honor that is being vulnerable sometimes. Being vulnerable, having compassion, being gentle, all the stuff we was just saying. Thank you, one more message from this, from this deck, angels. That's how we shine our light, by using our heart. But first, we got to learn how to use our heart on our own self. Because it's not going to work if you go out here trying to just... Yes, we're supposed to be kind and compassionate to everybody every day. Yes. But we first have to be kind, compassionate, loving, patient, gentle, all that with our own self first. Because if we ain't giving it to our own self, who going to give it to us? Because you sure can't depend on nobody on the outside to make you feel loved or make you feel valuable or beautiful or important. You got to fucking do it for you. You got to wake up every day and tell yourself you the shit. And ain't nobody fucking with you because you in your lane. You got to wake up and be and tell yourself how much of a, of a boss you are. Or you eat, or you gotta wake up and let yourself be weak and fall apart. Because we ain't meant to be fucking strong all the time. Okay. My productivity stems from inspiration. When I focus on what brings me joy, my tasks become effortless actions. And this is definitely a card I needed to see today. And I just want to show y'all this card. Because it's beautiful. This is a card I know I was supposed to see today. Because I've been talking for two days about being productive. Um, and the things I need to do it, it, it is creating the new person that I am. You feel me? The the, the, the the things that I need to do that's productive, I don't dread them. You feel me? I don't have to sit around and, uh, no, I, I am excited to do these things. I'm excited to do these things because these this is the foundation of uh, a whole fucking empire. You feel me? This is a foundation of uh, generational blessings. Not just for me and not just material shit, but shit that's going to make my family and my grandkids and my grandkids' kids uh, exude love and know they loved. You feel me? And just be self-sufficient and just be happier. Be their happiest. My happiness, our happiness. When we create, that's God, man. Anything we create. Anything we create. I don't care about what label a motherfucker. A motherfucker could make a bottle of MD 2020. You feel me? I used to drink that when I was like 12 years old and then walk around the neighborhood crying and shit. Bless it. Me and my uh, friend back then, we used to drink fucking md 2020 my mama would be at work 
she worked overnight and we would be tearing the neighborhood up bless our hearts i'm grateful that i'm here i'm grateful that i'm fucking protected man i know i'm protected we all are um yeah so get happy about creating be joyful about what you make with your hands if you're making dinner for your family tonight fucking put love in it know that's God coming out of you that's why a lot of people talk about not eating out and stuff and, and to an extent I'm funny about that too but Y'all, I'm healing a whole one with food. You feel me? To keep it real. So, sometimes I just be eating somewhere just because I be in my feelings or something. But I am healing that one. You feel me? And I can. And I am. But that's why it's important. Like, who cook your food and who do anything for you? Doing your hair, cutting your hair, cutting your grass. Man, that energy is real. And when we creating something, yes, that is the God coming out of us. Yes. But it's also energies behind that too. What you putting in it. What you thinking. What's in your heart. You feel me? Other people receive that. So we going to use our old superhero hearts. Ain't we? Reach out. Reach out. So maybe there's somebody that you feel like um, y'all had a, a disagreement and you might need to speak with them. Uh, I'm feeling family right now because the first person that popped in my head was my sister. You feel me? Because we got into it some months ago. And uh, throughout our relationship, nobody ever apologized. But I do always be the one to... Um, to mend things because I care. She care too. You feel me? We both care. But we just got different ways of expressing our feelings. And I don't want to stay mad at people I love. Especially not my sister. You feel me? Like we been through the slums together where it was just us low key. You feel me? Um. And I just want everybody, my family, my sister, to know that I love them no matter what the fuck choices we make in life. I'm not even saying her, them. I'm saying all of us. Because all of us probably do shit with our own lives that our families feel like is unhealthy for us or something. Or live our life in a way that... But it's our lives. You feel me? It's our lives. And it's what the fuck we want to do with them. So what somebody else feels about that, it don't matter. Whether it be your mama, your daddy, your sister, your cousin, whoever. And I'm saying it to myself. Thank you, God. So if it's somebody you feel like you need to, um, you may have, you, you may feel like you had words with somebody and you ain't talked to them in a long time, but they've been on your mind. That's the reason because you're supposed to reach out to them. And my sister been on my mind. I had to ask her three times to unblock me. She unblocked me. You feel me? But um, I still feel when I talk to my nieces and nephews, I still be feeling the energy behind what she feeling. You feel me? Like she ain't let go of it, and that's just how she is. Sometimes she don't know how to let go of stuff, and sometimes I in the past. I ain't know how to let go of stuff, but but I've learned, and I'm gonna teach my sister. I'm gonna share share my tools with my sister, for she can learn to let go. Because when we hold on to shit, we doing ourselves worse. Because nine times out of ten, they ain't somewhere living their lives, not even worrying about what the fuck transpired. So we gotta learn how to let go and forgive for ourselves, not for other people, because. When we fucking sitting up feeling a way about them, it ain't doing shit but fucking your own self up. You don't deserve that. You already feelings been fucked up once. Why you want to keep fucking your feelings up every day because of some old shit that happened? It was a lesson behind it for me and it was a lesson behind it for you. And we should get that lesson and move on with our lives. And just because you forgive somebody and let go don't mean you got to fuck with them again. It don't mean you gotta be mad at them either. 
And I'm saying this to myself because I've been mad at motherfuckers and held on to that shit. You do you is the card. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Accept people. Accept people for how they fucking is. How they want to live their life. Whatever they choose. If they want to walk butt naked on the motherfucking busiest street. Let them. And, and we shouldn't be concerned or fucked up about it either. You do you. Thank you, Angel. So I think that's going to be the last of this message today. I'm going to do one more card. I'm going to pull from the Spirit Junkie. Cause I don't, oh, I did, I did. I did two cards from the Spirit Junkie. I'm going to do one more from the Rebel. Yeah. That's the thing. I just feel happy to start learning how to be my authentic self and embrace my individuality and embrace my sensitivity and embrace my craziness, moodiness, awkwardness, all that shit. I am. Embrace all that shit. Ain't nothing about you fucking wrong. Ain't nothing about you wrong. Everything got fucking purpose, man. Thank you, Jonathan. Every everything we think is a character flaw, a flaw we don't like. We don't have to. We we can't pick at that shit. We gotta embrace that shit. Cause that's what's gonna set us free. Okay, get over yourself, pull your shit together, help people, give back, do good shit for humanity. E -E. Kind of goes into yesterday message. Get out your head, get in your bag, your bag is your feelings, your bag is your fucking uh, chakras being aligned, your, 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 your bag is fucking... Loving yourself, doing the best you can to be an example for your children, for your spouse, for your siblings of what self-care and self-love and knowing your self-worth looks like because that's what's healing the world. And get off that silly shit. Get off that silly shit of um, holding on to shit from the past. Get off that silly shit of uh, negative self-talk. Get off that. Get off that silly shit of procrastination. Cause um, you don't want the motherfucking tower to come down on your ass and God push you through the door that's open. Cause then you're gonna be like, well, damn, <laughs> I was going, shit. I don't have it. And the only thing you gotta do is open your heart and use it. Stop being afraid of it. I know that motherfucker powerful. I know you trying to get a whip, get a get a, get a handle on that motherfucker, but you got it. That's what all these messages about you having it. We having it. And that's how we help you fucking humanity that's how we heal fucking humanity is being ourselves being gentle when we encounter each other and making uh contrasting experiences teachable but the only way we can fucking teach it is if we be gentle. Because don't nobody want you coming in your in their face, pointing their fingers like, bitch, you should have did this, you should have did that. Who gonna fucking listen to that message? Who gonna soak that up? Nobody. Motherfucker gonna be ready to knock your head off. It ain't just, it ain't just men, it's everybody. Everybody, man. And that's why people who have the understanding, people who have the gift of caring, 
we got to let that um, wall crumble that we built to be not giving a fuck, to be aggressive because we ain't no pushovers. You cannot... Ooh, it's time for my date. You cannot be no pushover and be gentle at the same time. That's power, and that's power like a motherfucker. For real. Being gentle and asserting ourselves. Being loving. All we gotta do is, is speak from love and not get offended. And I know it can be challenging. Please believe, cause cause my temper fast and I and I feel other people energy and it feel like mine. So if a motherfucker walk up on me on some rah rah shit, see I was I always was the type of person, bitch, I don't even wanna argue. That's a waste of energy. You feel me? For me, bitch, I'm ready to get it give it to you. You feel me? I don't be on that type of shit. But but that's what made me start staying in the house and not being around people because I would I would um tap into somebody else's energy and I feel like it feel like it's mine and I just be with the shits wherever I go. And I damn near could have been in prison right now a few times. You feel me for letting my temper or letting probably somebody else's emotions I was feeling or just because I'm so sensitive Emotions are intensified for me. And that's 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 high emotions and low emotions. When I'm the highs is super highs and the lows is super lows. And I ain't used to know how to control that shit. And that shit had me in hella shit. Shootouts, you feel me? Down near prison, all kind of shit. So I so I just start staying to myself because I ain't know how to control my temper. But then from there, it went to a place of letting motherfuckers, being people pleasing. Because I was afraid of, I didn't know how to, what's the word I'm looking for? I didn't know how to balance. So now I'm just jumping back out here. You feel me? Asserting my, putting my boundaries down with motherfuckers. And guess what? Motherfuckers disappearing like a bitch out of my life. Because I'm not that same person that's just going to let you do and have and be whatever. You feel me? Fuck that. I'm speaking my mind. But see, now God is telling me I done mastered that. You feel me? It's time to master being gentle with what I say. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to get off of here because I'm about to go on my date, y'all. And I gotta uh, fix myself up real quick. I'm just gonna put some different earrings on. And that's it. I ain't doing get my person shit together. But, um, I appreciate y'all for coming on here watching my video. If there's anybody on tag, y'all can come follow me at uh, Free Spirited TT on YouTube or Free Spirited TT on Instagram. I'll be uploading videos on there all the time. Um, yeah. <clears throat> that's about it so i i'm trying to be more um because i have read somewhere how to develop your gifts and it's like you need to practice divination every day and having some having knowing somebody else might need the same messages that i'll be getting mostly for myself i know that it just helped me okay i'm talking in a fucking circle hold on what I'm trying to say is sharing messages help me feel like um, that's part of my purpose too, for one. And it kind of encourages me to keep doing it too, in some way. And I want to do it every day because I want to learn how to master the gifts, use them the best I can because I want we need to... Um, Make this world a loving place. Keep it a loving place. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm through talking. My mouth dry, all this shit. Bye.